What's going on everyone welcome back back again another tournament this is actually one of two tournaments that we're going to be fishing in two weeks so this weekend we have oregon kayak bass fishing stop four at crane prairie currently on the water right now heading to our first spot we got about four minutes of lines in i guess i launched at a farther launch than i need to there's one closer but whatever We'll make it there in time with this Torquedo. This is actually my first time at the lake. Spent the last two days pre-fishing and it's not good. I mean, 12 inch minimum. I caught two keepers Thursday. Today is Saturday and yesterday I just scouted around trying to look for more fish. This tournament's not gonna take a lot to win. I think if you can catch a limit, you'll probably be up there. Potentially win it, but at least cash a check. It's gonna be that tough. There's not any big ones in this lake, really. A lot of small ones. We'll probably get a lot of bites today, but they're all going to be like six to eight inches. So we got a lot of work to do. Pretty much, we got until 1:45 to fish. That's lines out, and we got to 2:30 to submit our fish. It's about 30 minutes to get service from here, so we might have to get off the water early and be at weigh-in at 3:30. Honestly, I don't know what to expect. We're just going to do our best, keep our head down, and just focus on trying to catch keepers. Wish me luck. Well, there's a guy where I wanted to start. Didn't seem like he caught the fish that I saw yesterday, so we'll come back and fish that on the way out. And check out another spot that had potential. I didn't really see anything, but might as well take a look. Oh, please be a keeper. Oh, no. <laughs> Definitely not 12 inches, I don't think. We'll check. I don't think so, though. <laughs> Every bit of 10. A lot of these guys. <sighs> well, this is not good. Let's go see if that guy left that spot. Hopefully he didn't catch that fish. Oh yeah, giants. 
absolute giants. <laughs> Keeper. <sighs> Dang. That's a keeper for sure. <sighs> Wasn't paying attention. You just didn't have the hook good. Dang. For sure, a keeper. Just can't be doing that. Should be number one. Should have been number two. Well, should have been number two, but number one, 13 and a quarter. Wow, we actually got a keeper. No way. Completed one of the goals, we got a keeper. <laughs> We're not gonna blank. That's so funny because that fish felt just pecking on it. it just seemed so small. Please be a keeper. It's kind of close. I think that might be a keeper. It's gonna be close. I think it will keep. Come on, please be 12. Oh yeah. It's a keeper. Oh yeah, keeper number two, 12 incher. Yes. Uh, man, it's been tough. If you can catch a limit here, I'll be stoked. What are you doing? <laughs> and I just couldn't find any. There you go. Keeper? No. Little guy. <laughs> That'll be every bit of 10 inches. Oh yeah, every bit of 10 inches. Oh, that's a good one. That's a keeper. Come on, baby. Giant. Oh yeah, 13. Can you touch 13 and a quarter? Number Lime burner. Look at this. Nine and three quarter. Well, won't count. Maybe in a year.
Okay. Okay, that's the kicker we needed. Z-Man Helicross. Got it done. I was like, hmm, that felt kind of weird. Yes, that is what we needed. There we go. That's the one we needed, 16. And that thing had me all up in that wood. I think we're gonna stay here. <laughs> Pick apart this area. I mean, this is just stuff that most people won't do. It's a high risk, high reward, as they say. I mean, you can definitely lose a lot of fish pitching into some of this wood. Uh, 11.45, got two hours left. I don't know, maybe we'll go back to that arm we started in this morning. I imagine a lot of people has probably hit that area, but honestly, I don't know what to do. Poor fish, I think it's gonna be okay for this tournament, but I really just don't know where else to go. It seems like both arms have been beat up pretty good. I'm just not sure what else we can hit. We're not gonna find anything that's like that log jam and some deep water. Oh yeah, back in the nursery. I mean, if I catch like a hundred of these, one of them should be 12 inches of it. Giant trout. <laughs> Get in here. Oh, popped up. <laughs> that was a nice trout. so weird is that that fish was set up like a bass it was just bottom of one of these deadheads it's just acting like a bass that's crazy i thought that was gonna be the buzzer beater that's about where i caught that other bass in practice all right y'all we got about 15 minutes the lines out we're gonna call it we got four fish which is I think pretty good for a day like this. So we're gonna get packed up. It's about 30 minutes to get service. So it might take a little bit of time to get everything put away. So I'm gonna head back to the ramp. We'll see what happens. 28 and a quarter inches, Cody Allison. All right, in fourth place, with an inch more, 29 and a quarter inches, Matt Walker. All right, then in third place, 32 and three quarters, Colin Sutton. Next up, in second place, four fish, still not a limit, 54 and a quarter inches, Brandon Hwok. Brandon wins a nice round number, $555.